I liked it. I loved it. The it that Catherine Washington is referring to is right here on the 1700 block of North Saginaw, nestled in the section infamous in Flint Forest Blight. But when it's finished, it will resemble Little Miss Flint, Mari Copany, the eight-year-old girl whose letter to the White House inspired the first visit by President Barack Obama during the Flint water crisis. Um, inspiration is Little Miss Flint um, delivering the letter to President Obama in Washington when they did the hearings on the water crisis. Too. Today in the midst of visible despair within inches, Kevin is shaking up things through his art. With several cans of spray paint at his command, this modern day Vincent Van Gogh is putting the finishing touches on his latest creation. However, he wants people to transform their immediate thoughts of this neighborhood to a positive alternative through art as a means of change. You know, one of the roughest buildings here on Saginaw Street into something worth looking at instead of turning your eye away, you know, make you want to look at it and know that there's good stuff going up in Flint. One woman whose goal is to beautify the blight one block at a time is Sandra Branch, the creator of Gallery on the Go. And it was through her efforts that artists like Kevin volunteered their talents with a small grant from the Flint Art Council. Miss Branch has been able to see her dream come true in living colors. And I believe she's the new Flint celebrity. She's the face of Flint. And this mural is through the eyes of a child if I were a superhero. And she's our little superhero. I was excited. I didn't even know they was gonna paint me. So how does little Miss Flint like this artwork? I love it. <laughs> You know, as an artist, I just couldn't do this story without at least having some fun. And Kevin allowed me to put a little bit of Duncan off craft all on this. In Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM, TV5.